play that shit. Who you think you playing with? I won't show my hand, bitch. Nigga, every man, I can't stand it. I was down bad. Hey, man. Say, man. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Quezzo. AK Quest the plug man, I'm back in another banger man. Today we got four stories that prove Larry Bird is the toughest player in NBA history, bro. We already know Larry Bird was tough, bro, so we finna just see. We already heard hella stories, so let's see if this really proves he's the toughest player in NBA history. Right now, you know, I be debating between who's more tougher, Larry Bird or Jordan, but let's see if this video showed me who really the toughest player ever, man. Before we get into it, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, man. Let's get into it. We've all heard the stories about Kobe Bryant, and most of us have actually seen with our own eyes how incredibly tough the guy was, trying to play on a freshly sprained ankle to wheel the Lakers to the playoffs, winning nah, the Kobe championship with a fractured too. finger. He's got a great case for being the toughest player in NBA history. Facts. But then there's Larry Bird, and many people don't know it, but he might have been equally as tough, if not tougher than Kobe Bryant when it came to pain tolerance. That's tough. Bird was such a warrior that he often didn't even like to let the team staff know he was hurt. That is, until later in his career when his back had deteriorated to an unbearable point and because bird was such a warrior today i want to tell you guys four crazy stories about larry bird's insane level of toughness what's up nba fans dom 2k on the mic and you've probably seen the shots of larry bird torturing himself later in his career when his back was forcing him into retirement but you might not know what allowed him to deal with that pain in the first place it turns out larry was dealing with physical ailments even before he entered the league before he'd ever played a game with the celtics he actually had his knuckle shattered by a baseball that put his professional career in jeopardy his knuckle was shattered? God. But because he's Larry Bird and Larry Bird is from a different planet, he was able to put together a top 10 NBA career despite not ever having the same shooting touch before he shattered his knuckle. Tough. Wrap your mind around that for a second. Larry Bird accomplished everything he did in his career and he said out of his own mouth that he never had the same feel for the basketball after the knuckle injury. But as it turns Damn. out, that's just an appetizer compared to what he'd endured throughout his career. Let's jump into it. Number four, hole in the face. I figured we'd start off with something crazy we've seen before. Remember when Russell Westbrook fell down after his free throw and got a hole kicked in his jaw? Yeah, that left a lot of us wondering if Westbrook was actually android a human because he got up, moved uh -oh. his mouth around a little bit, Damn. and finished up what was left of the game. Luckily for him, that was only about one second of game time. However, it turns out that 33 years earlier, Larry Bird actually had already accomplished his superhuman feat, and surprisingly, he did Westbrook one better. I originally thought there wasn't footage of this on YouTube, but I'm so thankful there was because you need to witness how brutal this was. Let me see. In a 1982 game against the Milwaukee Bucks, Larry Bird drove left to the basket and tried to bank in a routine jump shot. It clanked off the rim, Bird went up to rebound his own miss, and was violently elbowed by power Ooh. forward Harvey Catchings. Why did bro do that? Bird went up to like, rebound his that own for? miss and was violently elbowed by power forward Harvey Catchings. Where Westbrook's injury was an accident by his own teammate that didn't even look too bad initially, it's a bit difficult to look at this footage and say it wasn't on purpose, and you actually cringe a bit when you see how hard the shot Man. was. The elbow practically knocked Bird out and left him lying on the floor for several minutes as he looked seriously injured. From what I can tell in the tape, the injury appeared to happen before the end of the third quarter because Larry Bird went back to the locker room and came back out before the period had ended. That's in crazy. the fourth quarter, playing with what we now know was a fractured zygotic arch, Bird would score eight more points including a poster dunk, two assists, adding some defense and hustle plays as he was even shoved out of bounds during one of the possessions. His efforts led Real the Celtics different. to a narrow win as he finished with 16 points, meaning he scored half of them with a fractured arch in crunch time. Bro is going to do anything to get that win, bro. That's why Larry Bird is probably, is probably the greatest team player ever. And one as of. he finished with 16 points, meaning he Crazy. scored half of them with a fractured arch in crunch time. And even though we can't see it on the grainy 80s footage, Bird's jaw was depressed inward the same way Westbrook's was. After Larry left his heart on the floor for his team, he was sent to the hospital where doctors had to drill a hole into the side of his face and insert a medical tool to pop his zygotic arch back out. God. If social media had have been around with clear footage back in these days, this performance would probably be a lot more famous. We were shocked to see Westbrook standing on his own with a hole in his face. Imagine watching Larry Bird play an entire extra quarter while leading his team to the win. Number 3. Just Give Me a Beer it's understandable that Larry dealt with injuries like back problems and broken bones in the face. Those things just tend to happen when you're crashing into the floor and whatnot. But when Larry Bird had a toe infection, it really seemed like somebody was just... A toe infection? Like, bro was just getting all type of injuries and... Bro just got... 
Man, like I don't even know what to say, but like a toe infection. How much he could take before he he's unlucky. Out of the game. In the year 1985, Bird reportedly had a serious pain going on in his toe for three weeks that he played on, God. and he wouldn't bother to get it checked out because, again, he didn't like to let anybody know he was hurt. Finally, he let the doctor look at his foot, to which it would be found that Bird had a toe infection that would require his toe to be cut so the infection could drain. The doctor insisted that Bird take a shot of Novocaine to ease the pain because the infection was actually between his toes, which was obviously going to hurt a lot. Mm. And then Bird responded, just give me one of those beers over there. So he used that as his pain medication. The doctor cut two and a half inches into his toe to let the infection drain. Larry wrapped up the foot and played the exact same night. Unfortunately, I can't find any kind of information on when this game was, who it was against, or anything like that. Yeah. I can't even see how he performed. But when he got done with the game, the rap was obviously soaked in blood, and he was in considerable pain during the game. If it's anything like the other ridiculous games Bird had after some kind of injury Crazy. that should have had him sitting for days, it's safe to say he performed well. But the fact that he played with a two and a half inch cut into his toe with no pain meds is impressive enough for me. Number two. Man. Imagine if a player, somebody in the NBA, they got a toe infection. Bro is out for the season. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> bro, you, players not cut like that no more, bro. Double I'm gonna always say that, man. A lot of people can't even shoot when there's just one basket sitting still. So imagine trying to play in a professional game when you fractured your eye orbiter and you're seeing two baskets. Now, the injury itself sounds pretty comparable to what Derrick Rose had not too long ago. The difference here being that Rose got hurt before the season and was able to get his problems to a manageable point before playing in a real game. Mm. Bird, however, would not be so lucky. In a 1988 game against the Cavaliers, Bird was on fire having scored 13 points in the first quarter. But when he spun away from Craig Yelo with a clear lane to the basket, Del Curry of all people would rotate and hit Bird with a violent elbow to the side of his Del face. Curry. Kind of ironic that before Dell was raising the greatest shooter of all time, he was apparently trying to take out the best one of his generation. <laughs> Anyways, Bird sustained a fractured eye orbiter that again kept him on the floor for minutes. He went on to the locker room for treatment, came back out like he had done six years earlier, only this time he would score 18 more points to put the finishing That's touches tough. on a 31 point game that included five rebounds three assists and four steals on 11 to 20 shooting but the stats weren't even the most impressive part according to larry he played the rest of this game with double vision and as he described it he saw two baskets for the rest of the game leaving him to guess which one he had to shoot at but that's not the best part either not only did he light cleveland up but we know double vision doesn't go away after one game as we've already established if there was any other option than to sit a game out that's what bird was gonna do he ended up playing four more games with goggles four? that I'm not even sure anybody really knew he wore. <laughs> and in those games, he scored 36, 30, 28, and 34 points. In typical Larry Bird. So you got Goggle Larry Bird, the greatest player ever. <laughs> he scored 36, 30, 28, and 34 points. In typical Larry Bird fashion, he shot a staggering 55% from the field. That's with crazy. That. Violent elbow, fractured eye orbiter, goggles, elite scoring, hitting on over half of his field goal attempts. Again, he's Larry Bird, and Larry Bird is from another planet. Just to add some gore to the story, apparently after the Cleveland game where he initially broke the orbiter, he noticed his nose bleeding after the game. He went to blow it, and his eye bulged out a bit. Just a typical day in the life of Larry Bird, I guess. That's tough. Number one, Celtic Pride. You hear all this talk about Celtic pride anytime we speak about the history, and Larry Bird contributed in big part to that as his career was wrapping up. Possibly the most famous scene from the ending of his career is the one we've all seen. Larry was not- But I'm not even gonna lie, bro. It's not even close. Larry is the toughest player ever. Like, it's not close at all. I'm not gonna lie. Bro went through, like, so many injuries I can't even think of, bro. Like, bro fractured every bone in his face. Like, there's no way he was still playing after all this, bro. Like, that mental toughness, bro. You'll never see it again. She'll never see it again. Possibly the most famous scene from the ending of his career is the one we've all seen. Larry was diving for a loose ball, goes crashing to the floor as his head bangs against yeah. him violently, and he just lays there as if his body couldn't take it anymore. Truth be told, it really couldn't. Bird was dealing with insane back issues by this point in his career, and it was through sheer determination that he was even playing by this point. However, the story behind this scene is that not only was Bird's back locking up on him, but the shot he took to the head actually knocked him unconscious for a second and left him with a concussion that threatened to keep him out of the rest of an elimination game five against the Pacers. By this point, Larry was 34 years old and had missed 22 games throughout the season, and his best days had been stripped from him by an ever-deteriorating back. He sat in the locker room debating whether to go back into the game as Boston had lost their edge without him, and most of the way through the third quarter, the advantage was with the Pacers. 
When Larry asked the doctor for advice, he said he should be done for the day, but by this point, we all know Larry just wasn't built like that. <laughs> he was still breathing, Never so gonna he be went done. back into the game with the Celtics down by three, while they were being cracked over the head by Chuck Persons, I might add. With Bird back in the game, Boston would go on a ridiculous 33-14 run and went on to win the game by 3 points, sending the Pacers home for the playoffs. Bird finished with 32 points, 9 rebounds, and 7 assists while shooting 63% from the field. But again, that's not the most shocking part of this story. According to teammates like Robert Parrish, when Bird hit the floor, they weren't sure he was ever going to play again. Remember that hmm. this happened at the end of Bird's career, and after back surgeries and having to lay in a fiberglass brace for hours just to be well enough to play? Some thought that the fall he took meant the end of his career. And it probably would have been if Larry Bird was from Earth. But instead, he went out and put up one of the most memorable playoff performances Bro's of all different, time. Man. The kind of performance that really makes you sad that his career was really cut short by injury. So there you have it. These were four crazy stories. Honestly, bro, it's crazy that his uh, career was cut so short, bro. Imagine if Bird had about three more prime years. Man, hey, we'll be having a debate about who the GOAT for real today is. Man. That proved Larry Bird Him was and Magic, bro. Magic had some more prime year. You know, he got the the virus, the HIV. <sighs> Man, it would have been crazy if they had some more prime years, bro. Toughest player of all time. The crazy part about it, after reading the book he wrote with Magic Johnson and researching a little bit, I could have easily told Tina more. The truth that people don't really talk about in terms of Larry is that despite his amazing career, it was truly only a shell of what he could have been. As early as 1985, only six years into Larry Bird's career, he was already experiencing back issues that resulted from him doing concrete work around his house that he could have paid someone else to do. That's what I said. Every time I hear that story, I say, bro, why didn't he just pay somebody to do it, bro? You're Larry Bird. By the six years in the league, you're definitely a millionaire, buddy. Like, why are you breaking your back trying to do your mom? I mean, W son, but God. But that's just who Larry was, an incredibly hard worker that prided himself on being the same type of soldier his father was. Larry cherished just a story about his father when he came home one day from work and had a busted ankle. The next day, the ankle was so bad that Larry had to help him put the shoe on, and his father went right back to work. It was the kind of example that led Larry to play through the ridiculous pain he began to experience really only a short way into his career. Bird played a total of 13 of the most memorable seasons any NBA player could produce, but imagine one of our modern stars only lasting 13 years. LeBron is already on his 14th campaign, Durant is already on his 10th, but what if those guys only played to 13 though? That's just for perspective of what a- The fat Larry Bird came back after getting knocked, punched three times by Dr. J, still crazy. <laughs> on his 10th but what if those guys only played the 13 though that's just for perspective of what a flash bird's career really was and we're lucky that for that short amount of time he had the high pain tolerance that he did Fact. because if he was actually human and sat out those games that anybody else would have sat out we would have likely seen even less of him so in conclusion i think bird is proof that there is life outside of earth and we really aren't alone no cap. somewhere out there is the planet Larry bird came from where there's extraterrestrial life that apparently doesn't feel any type of pain shatter their face knock them out just give them a few minutes and they're right back on their feet ready to play and if they're generous enough maybe they're gonna send another one like larry to earth to play in the nba in the future but if that doesn't happen i'm very happy that larry bird was a part of nba history so i hope you enjoyed the video i hope you learned something leave your favorite larry bird story in the comment section because i'm pretty sure you guys have some if you enjoyed the video like comment and subscribe hit the bell next to my name if you want notifications on my video i'm dom 2k and i'll see you guys on the next one thanks for watching Hey, just like you said, bro, we out, man. That was a crazy video, bro. Every every time I watch some some videos like this, I, I hear another crazy story I never heard before. There's no way Bird had this many crazy injury stories, bro. Like, bro, like he said, he was not human, man. If y'all enjoyed this video like me, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, man. Let me know y'all when you react to next. I got y'all, bro. And I'm out. So here's T plus, I don't feel none. Trying to get a million. This old freak that geeked up deep throat. She won't eat my trillion.